Hello and welcome to Rick's Picks. Tonight we are going to be trying something different. Uh, and as you can see, I have here a standard deck. It's a standard deck that I uh, uh, built specifically to deal with the current Magic Online meta game. And also considering the fact that I don't really like any of the decks, I wanted to build something that could really deal with the multiple threats uh, there are in the format and the card that allows me to, to do that is actually Anguish the Making. I think Anguish the Making is a is in a very good position right now in the environment. If you want to know more about that, about the, the theory behind the deck, uh, be sure to, sh to check the article on puremtgo.com. Uh, so yeah, we are going to enter a league here. I'm just going to pause for a second and I'll be right back. Alright, so here we are. We are going to start by playing in the first round here. Wish me luck! <laughs> Alright, we will certainly like to play first. And this is a fine hand. I mean, uh, I get Liana turn 3 and Gideon turn 4. You know, with, with perfect mana. If I draw into one of the Eldrazi, I have a colorless mana here. And you know, Guy Rich Sanitarium gives me a bit more uh, of reach here. Uh, you know, allows me to, to draw extra cards if I need, really need to. And of course, there's an English that I'm making, so I'm absolutely keeping this hand. <clears throat> so let's start with a Shambling Vent on turn 1, and we're going to play another Shambling Vent on turn 2 into a Concealed Courtyard. Alright, so blue-white, probably Flash. Okay. Uh, Flash, I'm not sure if there's anything that I want to play here on turn... I mean, that I want to kill here on turn 2. So no reason to just play the, the courtyard now. I'm just going to go ahead and play a Shambling Vent. Especially because anything he plays here on turn 2, if he is indeed Flash, I can just Liliana it. So, alright, so maybe... You know, yeah, <laughs> I guess I cannot Liliana that. But, you know, either way, I don't really want to, to have Grasp of that Darkness up here against the Smuggler's Copter. So let's play Liliana. Of course, uh, Liliana will probably take a hit for for the team here because the, the Copter is probably going to be attacking her, but oh well, that happens. Next turn we, we get to, you know, just Anguish on making his, his capture if we need to. Ooh, Eldrazi Displacer. That is an interesting one. Sadly, we won't be able to play Gideon <laughs> uh, next turn, I don't think. And the thing is... Yeah, I'll probably just have to Anguish the making the, the capture during my turn. Oh, this is probably the, the Pun Harmonic on deck, right? I can see that now. Uh, okay. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to destroy, I mean to exile that copter. Still don't think he'll be able to kill our Liliana next turn. I shall see. Eventually we'll be able to grasp of darkness his... Eldrazi Displacer. <clears throat> Alright, he is attacking Liliana. I guess we could also, you know, try to uh, leave that Anguish the Making up for a, for a Panharmonica. Alright, Eldrazi Displacer. So, uh, yeah, it's just tough. I. Yeah, I'll have to just kill one of them right now. I mean, anything else that I do here, I actually, I actually, you know, lose my planeswalker because he'll have, an, you know, a colorless mana here to exile any creature I play, a Thalmas Seer or a Gideon. So yeah, let's do. Wait a second. First of all, let's do this. One, two. And I guess we get to play a Gyre's Rich Sanitarium if we really need to. I mean, right now, what we are doing here is we are 
making sure he doesn't do much in his first few turns. Our life total is, is still you know comfortably high. <clears throat> so yeah, he's going to attack our Liliana. Sure. Take another one for the, the team here. What is that? Oh, probably a cloud thingy. If you remember his name. Oh, maybe not. Okay, that's it. The cloud blazer. Sure, so what I want to do here is I want to draw into a land so that I can play a Sorin and get kill this guy. Uh, yeah, well, let's do this before he draws, right? I think it's... <clears throat> Ooh, Fumigate is actually fine. I think I'm going to just go ahead and discard the Thought Not Seer, especially because I can get it back with Liliana eventually. So he's going to draw a bunch of cards. <clears throat> he has five cards in hand. That's a lot. I mean, Cloud Base is a, is a fine card. You know, even though I don't really care about life totals with this deck. Alright, another story. Uh, let's do this and let's play a Fumigate. One, two, three. Three, four, five. <clears throat> so our Liliana is safe for the time being. And next turn we get to play either a Gideon or a Sorin. And either of those will be fine by me. Hope he doesn't play another Adrazi Displacer. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we need to draw land here. Alright, no lands. No lands at all. <clears throat> so what do we do? We could play a Thought Not Seer. Just to force him to you know, waste mana here too. Yeah. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. I'm going to target the Odrazi Displacer because if he wants to uh, blink, if he wants to, to get my Thought Not Seer out of the way, I'm actually, you know, he's, he's actually going to have to exile it and not exile the Ruthless Effect of Mage to, you know, return this guy so that I cannot play, you know, next turn. <clears throat> so let's play a Thought Not Seer, see what goodies he has in hand. All right, Reflector Mage and Pen Harmonicon. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, he gets to to do that. To play Pen Harmonicon plus Reflector Mage, but let's see. Uh, West Vale and Pen Harmonicon. For the time being, I'm gonna get rid of the Reflector Mage. So he can actually, you know, get rid of my Thought Not Seer, but then I get to, you know, get another card from him from his end. Play the, the Abbey. <clears throat> Did he draw into another Reflector Mage? Four? No, he's just gonna play it Pan Harmonic, sure. So now he could blink my guy, that's what I think he's gonna do. Oh, he did draw into another one. Alright. That's unfortunate, but what you gonna do? Killing my Liliana. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. We got a land. Uh, we're gonna lose our Soaring next turn, but that's okay because... Uh, we have another one to play, so let's. I'm actually gonna deal, uh, no, three damage just here, because I want him to use both his guys to attack my Sorin. So, <clears throat> all right, got rid of a couple 
displacers already. Let's hope it doesn't draw, draw into more here. <clears throat> right, and let's hope he, he doesn't play anything scary here. All right, Pilgrim's Eye is certainly not scary. So I think I can just play a Sorin and plus one it if he doesn't play anything else. He's gonna search for two lands. Yep. Yeah, but American does does some work, doesn't it? All right. So do we play a Gideon? We cannot play Gideon and Thought Not Seer, so I guess I'm just going to play a Sorin then. He cannot, luckily, uh, make a token. All right, we drew into a Grasp of Darkness, which could come in handy here in the near future. Ooh, does he have a, like an Avacyn or something? Not even sure this, this deck runs Avacyn. I, I, I don't think it does. Haven't played much against it, to be honest. <coughs> So it's all attacking the sword here, sure. So next turn I get to play Gideon and still have mana for a Grasp of Darkness. Oh, okay. Not that I really need that. Alright. Swap. So we're gonna play a Gideon. One, two, uh, three, four. That's excellent. We get to play like we have one, two, one, three, four, five, yeah. We get to play first and foremost a Transgress the Mind here. Is that right? Yeah. Let's run a Transgress, see what he's got. Alright, just a declaration in stone. Hmm, that's interesting. Declaration in stone means that uh, he's probably gonna just remove the token from the Gideon. Okay, he's obviously going to make a token out of the West Vale Abbey as well. Since he does have a Declaration in Stone, I think I could just go ahead and, and uh, plus one the Gideon here. So he's got to choose whether he kills the Gideon or the... Because like, yeah, yeah he's going to have to choose either way, right? Okay, let's... Let's actually make a token here, I'm not sure. I guess I'm gonna plus one it. No, let's make a token. Let's let's force him to uh, to actually use his removal spell here. Sadly, we're probably gonna lose our card advantage engine here. And by that I mean our story. Anyway, if he if he draws into a, a cheap creature here, he could also just run the Westville Abbey, which is scary, but yeah, we shall see. Alright. There we go, that's a declaration in stone. So what's gonna do here? Alright, everybody's attacking Gideon. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. Does he have anything else? He does. It's a pilgrim's eye. So oh. let's just grasp that reflector mage, and during our turn, we are going to be able to resume taking our soaring up. Ooh, all right. I actually like that. So let's draw. All right. Let's play the either hub. And let's play a thought not seer. Hopefully he has a, a creature in hand. But yeah. Island in planes. Alright. Oh man. 
he did review both, but but actually he did play a land, like, and you know, either way, I'm okay having this guy to to block here, so. We could, uh, depending on what he does, we could actually uh, aim the anguish to make him at the pin harmonica. He doesn't know we have it because we revealed an either hub actually. <clears throat> and also it's nice because if he wants to go the West Vale Abbey route here. Oh, okay. Is he going to attack the Soaring? Probably just with the two Pilgrim's Eyes? I do have a Chamber of Events to block. Alright, he did not do anything. That is interesting. Did not attack. Even with the... Ooh, he's gonna gain life, right? Yeah. Even with the, 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 the Pilgrim's Eyes, he didn't want to attack. Alright, that's great. Blighted Fan. Well, Blighted Fan is not the best card in the world against him, but... Oh well. Luckily, I think he's going to try to go for the Westville Abbey route here. And if he does that, I'll be very happy indeed. Because my English the making is going to be ready. Alright, he's attacking our story. I don't think there's a. Don't think we need to grasp it. To grasp one of them at this point. <coughs> right? Played a land. Ooh, Gideon. Gideon is excellent. Let's. Alright, now, now he does know that we have an English the making. But he doesn't know we have two of them, <laughs> so maybe that's gonna come in handy. Uh, three, four. Is that right? Yeah, I get to play both English the Making and Grasp of Darkness. Uh, do we create a human? Oh, I mean a, a knight ally. I think we do. See what he does here. So now he knows we have an English the making, meaning that he won't really uh I guess we should just start attacking him here. Like I'm I'm, I'm certainly going to do that with the Gideon next turn. Now the good news is that we get to, you know, transform a Shamblin event to block. Uh, yeah, he's gonna get a couple lands, right? Sure, sure. I mean, I guess I get to... Uh, I, I could just destroy a Panharmonicon whenever he goes to play something like a Cloud Blazer. That, that would be definitely... Uh, Alright. I think we could do that here, you know, next turn. I mean, at the end of this turn. Alright, is it gonna attack Gideon, is my guess? No, sorry. Alright. Yeah, at the end of his turn, I'm definitely gonna do that. Let's exile this. Pen Harmonicon here so that he can feel a bit safer about transforming the West Vale Abbey. <coughs> Alright. Let's tick the soaring. Ooh, that's that's definitely interesting. Definitely interesting. Uh I think what I'm gonna do here is Let's see, play a land, definitely. Let's cast a Reality Smasher. One, two, three, four, five.
Castle Reality Smasher, and then we get to... Ooh, yeah, he's got a Blighted Step, right? Let's transform a, a Gideon here and attack with both, I'm thinking. I mean, let's see. He's gonna try and attack my, my Sorin with his three guys here. And I'll have, like, two blockers on the ground, but I could transform a Shimmy Van. Yeah. I got options. I think I really need to start getting more aggressive here. Let's see what he does. Is he transforming? All right, he is. So he's probably just. Yeah, I think it's gonna block the reality smasher. I mean, if it j just blocks the reality smasher and that's it, then he's dead because this thing tramples. So I think I'm gonna allow him to do his thing there to see what happens. Oh, all right, he did block Gideon. So let's do this. One, uh, two, three. Exiling his Ormondal. I hope he allows me to. All right, he did. All right, so so now I'm I'm feeling pretty good about this about this one. So my my all right my tactic of you know wasting one of the anguish that makings uh, paid off. All right, Pen Harmonicon. I definitely want fragmentizes against him. Not sure I want Stasis Nair, uh, what else? Blast Alliance seems pretty bad. I want to Fumigate, definitely. And maybe a Gisela. The problem, like, Gisela is nice to bring in in a, you know, in a creatureless deck when they uh, take out all of their removal spells. But th th there's a problem with this deck, is that I do have some very menacing creatures here to play against them. Meaning that, uh... He won't take out his removal spells. I must say I do not like Thought Not Seer a lot against him. So I may take those out. I mean, there, there are a couple of Blast Alliance, Transgress the Mind, a few Grasps. <sighs> I'm not sure. Lost Legacy is such a bad card, though. <laughs> I, I don't really like it. To be perfectly honest, but I do want a, a third Fumigate, and I do want the three Fragmentizers. So do I take out four Thought Not Sears? I don't know. <laughs> but I think I do, right? I mean, the other cards here are definitely better against him. And, you know, he's gonna leave his, his removal spells in, and they're gonna be bad against the Reality Smasher, right? I mean, not if they are uh, Stasis Snares, but oh well. So yeah, let's keep things like this. Uh, Fragmentize is obviously good because it, it hits not, not only Panharmonicon, but also the, the Copter. You know, right? This, this, this hand is, is mighty fine. I'm gonna keep it. Prophetic Prism does a lot of, of, of good work here. For example, it's going to allow me to have double white to cast Fumigate to you know to transform one of my colorless uh, uh, lands into a, a, a colored land. Of course, we do have e either herb, but you know, if we draw into something like a Gideon, then we have to waste the the, the extra counter counter there. So there, that's that. Right. Uh, I'm going to probably on turn two uh, play a Transgress the Mind. Which I'm still not sure how good it is against him, but you know, it's nice to be able to take out his Cloud thingies. I keep saying Cloud Thresher. Cloud Thresher is a green card. <laughs> it's not that one. Alright, so taking one. Alright, another courtyard. So, yeah. At this point, we have you know, plenty of mana here. We don't really need the Apophatic Prism right now. Oops. Let's add a black mana instead. All right, there we go. Yeah, he does have a cloud blazer, a hub, and an island. 
And I'm actually going to take his displacer here because that's a dangerous card. <clears throat> Even, you know, just repeatedly blinking threatening specters is, you know, so annoying. And I'm not going to be able to... Oh, he, he played the edit either. Or I'm not going, going to be able to uh, fumigate for a while here, so... Alright, taking another one. I mean, a Liliana now would be awesome. Alright, no Lilianas. I guess we can... Cast a Prophetic Prism. So we draw. Alright, Seagate Wreckage. Let's play a Nidorhub. Just, you know... Just so that he knows that we have access to any color of mana we want. <laughs> not, not that it's gonna matter right now, but but we do. <clears throat> Hopefully he plays, you know, some artifact here. And I draw Liliana, because then I'd be able to pop his artifact and play Liliana. How amazing would that be? <clears throat> I guess, you know, Liliana, I mean, if a hand has Liliana in, in three lands that allow me to cast her, it's going to be pretty tough to have me mold her. It's a card that I really want to play on turn three here. It really does a lot. What's that? Reflector Mage? No, another Displacer. That's that's bad. Oh, well, at least we do have a Fumigate here, so let's go ahead and play a wreckage he's gonna play the the cloud blazer next turn and, and i will get to fumigate presumably but maybe he didn't draw into land yeah maybe not the cloud blazer if he plays it it's gonna be problematic though because you know it's gonna draw him cards and all and I keep drawing lands, man. Alright, I guess I could just go ahead and and just play uh, a fumigate here. No need to, to take a bunch more damage here at this point. We just need to be alive uh, until we get to ooh, he's gonna have all right, and negate. So hopefully this turn he does play a Cloud Blazer and my other Fumigate actually resolves. All right. I guess, you know, I don't know. I mean, this deck is obviously a work in progress, so m maybe I shouldn't have taken out the... Uh, the Thought Not Seer, but, you know... Alright, let's play another Fumigate here. One, two, three, four, five. We gain a bunch of life and we even, even, even draw another one, which is nice against a deck such as his. Is that a Penharmonica? No, it's another Cloud Blazer. Sure. Did he take out the Penharmonicans? So that my fragmentizers would be nah because you know he would have to take out the what's his name the, the smuggler sculptor too I, I don't think he, he he would just go ahead and do that i drew into another land which is you know very bad news for us at least now we're gonna start making westville abbey tokens The good news is that, you know, having uh, a spawning bed, it means that we can, at the end of his turn, make three tokens and, and just activate Westville Lab during our turn while he's off guard. What's that? All right, there we go. That's a pain harmonica. What's that? Pilgrim's Eye. Okay. We're gonna get two lands. So it's a lens. 
and what else? I'm Alan, Prince Ruby. No, two planes. Right? Yep, a couple planes. So, I figure I'm probably gonna fumigate here, but you know, making a token here is pretty free because yeah we lose one life but we get to attack him and if he actually blocked with, with the pilgrim's eye which i don't think is going to happen oh man not the land all right let's go ahead and attack with our human cleric here it's obviously not going to to bite it so i get to fragmentize this pen harmonica And I get to play a fumigate. The question though is, do I want to? Do I want to? He could very well draw into another negate here and I'd be just screwed. And the way it is, I'm dead in three turns. So I'm, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and, and do it. One, two, three. Not the most optimal fumigate ever, but at this point here, I really need to, to keep my life total up. He has a lot of cards in hand, but you know, lots of them are lands. Now I'll get to, all right, Bless Alliance, the card that, that I actually, actually like here. Let's play eight planes. Let's transform a shambling vent. And that's Bash. Start make you know trying to make a dent at his life total and gaining some life ourselves. He's gonna make a token here at the end of his turn. Yeah, Blessed Alliance is is not the best card here just because he can make so many tokens. Even though he can actually take uh take out a Norman doll. If that's all he's attacking with. <clears throat> Sadly, we cannot make our own Westville Abbey token here to block. Alright. Oh, transgress. Just take a look at whether he has stuff he's hiding in his hand. Alright. Ceremonials. Rejection. Sure. So he has something that he's, he's actually hiding there. One, two, three. Let's attack him. He maybe has an Everson here? No, no Everson. Alright, just another token. And yes, next turn I you know if he does not attack me, I have to stop attacking, right? What's that? Thought not seer. So I'm actually going to just go ahead and gain four life. One and two. Which isn't you know, not the most optimal use of the card but <laughs> beats getting it removed I guess so actually I have wasted all of my fumigates which is bad news for me but we have a lot of removal here <clears throat> that I could draw actually I may just untap and dream my upkeep to yeah, I think I would do this now. Right? One and two and three. Let's draw a card. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. And 
drew a lot of players this, this game. <clears throat> okay, well, now he actually cannot attack with the human clerics because I get to, you know, block my chamber and Oh, he is attacking. All right. Let's do this then. Blocking here. Oh, maybe maybe he has that thing there exiled. No. All right. No land, please. Ooh, all right. That is certainly a no land. The problem is, if I actually play Soaring, I mean, do I have enough mana? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah, I do have enough mana to play Soaring and have a Shambling Vent up, so hopefully he doesn't have <laughs> a, a counter spell here. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Um, and what else? Spawning bed. I'm not gonna get a spawning bed now, sadly. Oh, he does have something. Probably in a gate. All right. Apparently no. So let's just deal four damage to that thought not seer and draw into a card. Okay, that's a nice one. But right now I'm not gonna cast it, and the reason is I want to actually be able to block his his human clerics. Let's hope he doesn't have a flash guy. Oh, he has another one. Yeah, right. Yeah, I forgot about that. So my soaring is out, <laughs> but at least I, I got rid of, of, of that guy and I drew a card. And yeah. Guess this is fine. So next turn I'll try to actually play a reality smasher. <clears throat> What's that? Three mana. Ooh, the the white dude? The white Eldrazi? Yeah. That's pretty much it. Oh no, just a Reflector Mage. Sure. Oh, he's gonna transform Ormondal. That is interesting. That's what he's, he's aiming for here. Right? Oh, he did not attack. Man, he really wants to transform Ormondal. He did not attack to kill my sorry. Alright. Do mind if I do then? Uh, let's draw into stuff here. <clears throat> Alright. We drew into a Gideon. Meaning that we will actually, you know, cast a Gideon. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he, he can transform, he can make a Norman doll. Oh well. Let's cast a Gideon. Uh, one, two, three, four. Then we get to cast a Reality Smasher, I, I suppose. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Sadly, we won't be able to to get to you know activate during his turn, right? Anyway, just let's. Leave that thing open for our upkeep. Not attacking, obviously, because otherwise he could just, you know, kill me. I mean, not kill me, kill my reality measure and gain nine life while he's at it. All right, so, all right, he did not make a Norman Elf. I'm gonna make another token to just probably sacrifice to a Norman Elf in the near future. See what he does. Yep, that's, that looks like what he's doing here. Okay, let's just have six here. Especially because we have less <laughs> total time. Alright, just attacking me, which is nice for me, you know, because I guess if I were him, I could just attack the swing, but you know, it's all the same, right? He's, he's giving me one extra turn no matter what here. Uh, let's. Do this, uh, spawning bed like one, two, three. All right, drink to a swamp. 
All right, there we go. Oh, maybe he has a negate. Oh, man. That's going to suck if he does. Let's do this. All right, Liliana. Liliana is actually fine as well. So, I'm going to make a Gideon. Attack with Gideon and Reality Smasher. Let's see what he does. All right, this chumps the Gideon. I get to play uh, that thing. I get to play now this thing. I don't have any creatures, I don't think. So I'll just do this. And during his upkeep, I will anguish the making his guy. One, two. Hopefully he doesn't have a negate. All right, he didn't. That's excellent. So now I'm feeling much better about this game. The reason why I, I waited until his upkeep to, to do that is because if he wanted to waste mana countering, he would have to you know waste mana during his turn. Not that that matters that much now. And also, if he had had a something like a spell queller, he would you know have someone in sickness. There we go. It's 1-0 for us. See you round two.